The NSA wants to infect your Android device with spyware. Google is sending copyright fines directly to customers. Uber wants to get rid of drivers. LG has a new OLED TV that's thin as cardboard. And Apple is finally designing a new iOS that actually makes things run better. These are today's bits. And yes, I'm sick, so my voice is crap. The NSA has been exploring the possibility to infect a countless number of people who use Android-based devices with spyware. They wanted to infect people who connect and downloaded apps from the App Store, which is basically everybody. And I have to admit, I'm not really surprised by all of this. Turns out that they were initially targeting people in the African countries. They found a security flaw in a popular browser called UC Browser, used by like, I don't know, half a billion people. If you want to read more on this, I'll link it in the description. I just hope that talking about the NSA doesn't land me on one of their little hit list. To all you pirates out there who can't wait to get your grubby little hands on the amazing internet speeds of Google Fiber, I've got some bad news for you. Google is sending out automatic piracy fines ranging anywhere from $20 all the way up to $300. Apparently, all someone has to do is file a DMCA takedown notice, and they're going to have that bill sent right to your inbox without the requesters even knowing who you are. They don't have to go through the courts or anything to get this accomplished either. Personally, I think this is just a little irrational. Google isn't even reviewing them before they send them, so who's to say that the owner of the account is even the infringer? There's no research here. The whole DMCA takedown thing is just way too easy to take advantage of, and I'm not the only person to think that. I'll link in the description for more people who think that as well. I'm no expert or anything, but hey, maybe you could look into, say, I don't know, a VPN before you download your next episode of Game of Thrones. So you know that little app that you call for when you want to ride and you want to save a little bit of money and try to get a better experience than you normally would with a taxi? I'm not talking about Lyft, I'm talking about Uber. Well, they have been known for paying their drivers a fairly small amount considering everything that has to be done in order to provide to you that ride. The insurance, the fuel, vehicle cleaning, labor, I mean it all adds up for somebody who wants to earn a living. Well, Uber has a new plan. Cut out those pesky drivers and roll out a fleet of autonomous cars that will maximize profit and limit liability. Starting this fleet is a modified Ford with an array of sensors on the top guiding it down the roads. Now, this is just a test run for a new system, but the company that has milked billions from customers has plenty of bankroll to make this an easy replacement for everyday drivers for Uber. Not that it pays a lot, but hey, there's some people out there that make a living on it. And also, Google is doing it, so why not Uber? LG's been showing off a brand spanking new OLED panel that's less than a millimeter thick. It's so thin and light, it can stick to a wall like a magnet on a refrigerator. LG has been focusing a lot on OLED technology lately, and this new panel is definitely something to be excited about. Mainly because they're set to release one as big as 99 inches this year. 99 inches. Nothing more is released, but holy crap, I want one. You know, because wallpaper. The new iOS 9 in development is turning out to be a massive improvement for overall performance and functionality. Their main focus has actually been to optimize it for older devices like iPhone 4S or iPad mini by creating a core version specifically for them. Keep in mind, these devices usually don't even handle the iOS 8 very well. This is a big change because usually they just render them obsolete and deny future updates. On a more aggravating note though, they're also trying to implement a new feature called Rootless that's designed to specifically make jailbreaking more difficult or possibly even impossible. I still don't understand why they're fighting jailbreaking so much. I mean, Apple has stolen a lot of great ideas from unofficial app makers who took advantage of the root access to enhance their phones. It's like, oh no, don't do that. Ooh, good idea. Okay, go away. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe.